there. I hope that you don't have this problem and that you're just informing yourself because you want to know what to look out for when you see an orchid start to decline and look dehydrated, even though you think that you've got some okay-ish roots in the pot, like so over there, the far end. Yeah, well, let's just say you don't have this problem, but you will be armed and ready in case you see similar symptoms. Because even though the orchid may be going through climatic stress, acclimating issues, or it's just not her ideal time of year, this is not normal. Because let's just say you're seeing these symptoms with dehydrated leaves, they're still green, then you see that your roots are starting to die off and somewhat look desiccated. And then you're wondering, well, what is going on here? Bar any acclimating processes and climatic issues. This is classic stem rot symptoms and you can say well where did that come from that can come from getting just a teeny tiny bit of water into the stem of an orchid and not being aware that it hasn't dried off during very cold conditions when i say very cold it's all relative and it depends on the orchid but these are the symptoms when roots suddenly die off and they were fine why would they die off? If their humidity is high enough and the misting is regular enough, they shouldn't be dying off. As you can see very clearly, this one is starting to die off at the base. And why are the leaves so desiccated? If the watering was up to par and up to standard, this shouldn't be happening, even in an orchid that is in a rest mode. And then you see leaves just falling off at the base of the orchid. That is a clear indicator that the orchid has stem rot. What can you do to save her if you can save her? In my case, I have applied dragon's blood. I can't apply cinnamon because I do not want to compromise any of the roots that may still be holding on to help the orchid in its fight for survival. So I have used dragon's blood because it is a liquid form of antiseptic, antibacteria, antifungal, and it can seep into the crevices that cinnamon would not get to and it is not detrimental to roots. Is this orchid going to make it? There's a 1% chance. And this orchid is my Vanda Pumilla. So, your symptoms are sudden shriveling leaves, sudden dieback of roots that were actually quite all right, and sudden drop of leaves from the stem, not because of age, but because of stem rot. Get into it quickly, there are no guarantees, but it is worth a try. And I hope that you never have these symptoms and you never have to deal with them. And if you do, that this video was helpful and that you can save your orchid. Fingers crossed for my Vanda Pomilla. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that this was helpful. Have yourselves a beautiful day. On one condition though, that you stay safe and take care. Bye.